hello welcome back to my channel so i am going to do a quick pretzel rods uh, tutorial video for you this is fun to make you can decorate it however you would like depending on the occasion um, what color theme you're going for if it's seasonal you can pretty much customize it to whatever you would like today the theme i'm going for is like a light pink with a little bit of uh, drizzle of chocolate and then I have just a little bit of chopped walnuts here and some pistachios. These are about two tablespoons. And then I just have some gold, white, and uh, pink sprinkles. And then for the food coloring, I'm just using some plant-based food coloring. I will use a little bit of the red to give it a pink color. So these are about six ounces of vegan chocolate. And you can do the double boiler method of melting these. And I did that on my chocolate covered strawberries. And I will link that up here on the top if you wanna watch how I did that. Or you can also use the microwave. So check on it every 30 seconds. So I am gonna do the microwave method this time of melting the chocolates. So make sure that you use a pot holder when you're checking the bowl if it's uh, soft enough now this one i did 30 seconds and it wasn't quite hot yet and then i did another 30 seconds and it looks like this will do it so give that a quick uh, mix make sure all the chocolate chips are melted slightly press it down with a spoon and if you need to do like another 10 15 seconds go ahead and do that but i think this one is good enough so now i'm gonna finish pressing down any additional chips and now i'm gonna do the white chocolate okay so i added like a drop of the red food coloring and i am just gonna start with that and see how the color looks it's always good to just put in a little bit at first until you get the desired shade you like and I think I'm just going to put another drop. Okay, I think that is the shade or maybe one more drop. Okay, so so far I put like three or four drops and this should do it. So take your pretzel rod and then just um, pour some chocolate over it. Now you can do this up to three quarters up of the way or halfway. It's up to you. Okay. And then once you get the once you get it fully coated, you want to just go ahead and kind of smooth it out and then let the chocolate drip off. Okay, perfect. Okay, now you're gonna wanna put this on a plate that's lined with wax paper or parchment paper. Just set that aside to dry. And if you're gonna put sprinkles, put it on while uh, the chocolate is still slightly wet, that way it'll stick to it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the pink. Okay, and then just repeat the process.
So for this one, I'm putting this uh, longer kind of sprinkles on it. This one is going to have some gold and white sprinkles. So here's the gold. Okay, for this one, I'm putting the walnuts. Put some pistachios on this one crushed pistachios these are my favorite hey this one is gonna have walnuts and pistachios Don't mind my thumb, you guys. I got some red food coloring on it. Let's... I Okay, so I made 12 pieces and I went ahead and heated the regular uh, dark chocolate in the microwave for about 20 seconds. And then I'm just gonna put that either, um, if you have a piping bag or if you have a Ziploc bag, and um, we're just gonna cut the very tip of this and we're just gonna do like a little chocolate drizzle on top. So if you're gonna use a sandwich uh, Ziploc bag, we're gonna put the filling on one side here. For example, we're gonna put it towards this side and then we're gonna cut the tip right here. And then when we're ready to drizzle, we're gonna push everything towards this side. That way you can, um, it doesn't come out. So we're gonna put it towards here and cut on this side. So I went ahead and sealed the top. Everything is on the left and I am just gonna cut here on the right side, just the very corner, just like that. Just a very small piece and put everything towards this side and just press everything down. And we are ready to drizzle. Go ahead and test on a little plate here. Okay. So it looks like it's okay. So let's go ahead and drizzle. So you can go that way, like back and forth, or you can do straight lines. And I'll show you that on the next one. You just release the, don't squeeze and don't come back. So you just let that drop and then come back and do that side. Okay, so there's that way. There's also that way. So there is the one dozen uh, pretzel rods that I have decorated using walnuts, uh, pistachios, and just white, gold, and pink uh, sprinkles. So you can decorate it however you would like, depending on the theme. 
Um, I was going for the pink theme with a little bit of chocolate drizzle. These four here, I didn't put any chocolate drizzle, just to give it contrast on the platter. And just try it out, do your own creations, have fun with it, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe if you are not already subscribed, and I will see you on my next one. Thank you, everyone.